Hey guys, this is Chris again with Lajax Media. Today I want to give you a video review and tutorial of the Movavi Video Converter. You can download a free trial of it by visiting the link on your screen or clicking the link under this video. It's movtrials.com forward slash converter. And once you download and install the software and open it, this is what you're going to see. A very easy to use software. Uh, you got some options up here at the top for file, edit, converting, playback. You got settings. You can choose some different languages here. There's two different theme options. Just changes the uh, appearance of the software as well as some preferences, some settings for your conversion and acceleration. Adding a video is super simple. You can just click the add video link or you can drag the files and add them into here. And I've already got a video made that I recorded this morning from YouTube. It's about eating sriracha which is some hot sauce and pretty funny video but once you add the videos you can see here the length of it uh, the size of it you can see super speed conversion is supported and what that means is that the Movavi video converter has several options of the basic formats that you use for video that accelerates the speed of converting it and it makes it super fast in fact we've used a lot of different video converting tools in the past and this one by far exceeds uh, the speed as for converting video even in high quality. So over here you're going to see the current video settings and then over here you're going to see the output settings. Right now it's set on custom uh, 36 megabytes as an MP4 file type. Now all you have to do is come down to this box where it says convert to and click the arrow and you're going to see all the options of the video format types you can convert to and if you don't see the format here you can click on more presets for formats it's going to give you a lot of categories you can click on each one and it'll give you a lot more options of different file types if you want to upload it to YouTube or an online uh, source you can click that and you can see all the options here for YouTube MySpace Facebook Vimeo and more now if you're wanting to save your video to watch it on a device maybe you have an Android device or some other type of tablet and you don't know what type of file uh, format you need to convert it to you can come down and click on the more presets for devices and it's going to show you the different types of devices that are available that you can convert to play on and then you simply just click on one of those such as the Android and it'll give you all the options right here that are available that can play this type of file on that device and you simply choose based on the resolution that you want it and that's all there is to it now for this video I want to convert it from an AVI file type which you can see right here to an MP4 which I have chosen right here and I want to save it in this folder on my desktop and another option you have is to upload the file after you convert it there's different uh, places you can upload it to let me move this up so you can see better but if you click on this down arrow beside upload it's going to show you some options here. You can upload it to Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, and then there's a couple other places on here too. There's FTP and Amazon S3. And you simply click that box and what happens is after you after the video is done converting, it'll bring up a new share box and it'll allow you to easily upload that video through that share box without having to go to that account and sign in and log in. It's just all there, much easier and more convenient. Now over here, if you want additional uh, adjustments made on the video, you can click on settings and you can create custom presets. Now for the average user, the settings that are already here, you really don't want to bother them. They're going to be fine with what you're going to be doing. The only thing that I do recommend that you change is maybe the speed and the quality setting. By default, I'm pretty sure it's set on faster or very fast and if you want a high quality video once you convert it you want to select this option clear on the bottom ultra slow high quality and what that means is that the conversion is going to be slower but the video is going to be higher quality and the opposite with ultra fast it's just going to convert the video really fast but you're going to have a low quality video so I always keep this on ultra slow high quality and really that's all there is to it besides clicking convert here um, you can watch the video here by pressing the play button. You can maximize the screen here. Uh, you know, just a few other basic options. Um, but overall, once you have these, once you import your video and you choose the type you want to convert it to and where you want to save it, all you have to do is click convert. And then when you click convert, it's automatically going to save the file and it's going to open a box. So let's go ahead and do that. Click convert. And 
there we go and you can see here there was the video and this is the new video right here and it opened up another box let me bring it over here this is where I selected the option to upload to YouTube you can see it went ahead and opened up the Movavi share online box and it automatically opened the file for us and all I have to do is click on the YouTube and put in my login and password information and then once I do that uh, over here you go to accounts you can also do it this way but over here there's going to be a box where you can enter your title your description and your tags and then once that's done you simply click upload and it's going to upload it automatically for you to YouTube so you don't have to go to YouTube and log in and do all that yourself so overall a really good tool to use an excellent video converter it's really fast it's very reliable we've used a lot of video converters in the past that just they're just not very reliable uh, they, they crash a lot, they freeze a lot, slow at conversion, and uh, Movavi seems to have worked out all those bugs in their tool, and uh, it works very efficiently. So you can download the trial of it there at movtrials.com forward slash converter, and that link is also underneath this video. Just click on it. It'll take you straight to the page where you can get all the details about it. You can view more tutorials, frequently asked questions, and get started on converting your own videos.